All right, this is going to be the most boring video I've made, but it's essential. So please, if you're in a state right now where you're going video to video to video to video, just calm the fuck down right now. Sit back. Breathe in with me. Exhale. Prove to yourself you're not going to hop off this video when shit gets boring because it may get boring. But if you are sincerely wanting to overcome your stutter, pay attention. Use discipline to stay in this. I know you've probably been watching other, probably been watching other videos be, before this, but stay with me if you sincerely want to change. All right, because what I'm about to tell you right now is the foundational habits you must put into your life if you want the ability to see consistent progress with your speech, with your confidence, with your self-esteem, with just fucking expressing yourself, all right? Without these habits in place, you won't feel like you're grounded. You will not feel like you, you have a base to step off of. You will always feel like sometimes I'm making progress, sometimes it feels like I'm I'm speaking more fluently, but then out of nowhere, I start to stutter again and I fall off and then I go into my distractions again. It's a fucking cycle. These habits, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you three. These habits you must have in your life. And they're so simple, yet foundational. All right. So I don't talk about this much. In, on my YouTube or on Instagram. I'm most active on my Instagram. If you guys want to see that, click. Oh, I, I don't want to edit this video. So I, I won't put my Instagram here, but what it is, is, on, is honestly underscore chase. Find me. If you want to see me like every day, behind the scenes, what I do, my day-to-day -day life. Um, so there's three habits I'm going to share with you. And the reason why I don't share this on my Instagram or TikTok or YouTube that often is because it's not that sexy, but every single one of my clients that I work with that I've helped, that I help overcome stuttering that I've, I've helped over 60, I think I've helped like 68 now, 68 people overcome stuttering in the past three years. The reason why I've helped so many people, is because of these boring habits that you must do. There's actually seven daily habits I get my clients to I get my clients to do, but I'm going to tell you the three most simple actionable ones you can do right now that are so so fucking easy to do. And when I when I say them to you, you're going to be like, "Oh my god, I've heard this before." But I promise you I promise you, you cannot see consistent progress with your speech, with your confidence, with your, with your energy, if you don't have these in place. One is high quality sleep. All right. High quality sleep. Ah, oh, I, I swear to God, I swear to God that the version I am when I get shitty sleep versus Deep sleep, two different versions, two different and two different energy levels, two different confidence levels, two different loving life levels, two different speaking levels, expressing levels. Two, I'm two different people. All right. And I don't just mean eight hours of sleep, though. I go to bed at 12, I wake up at eight. No, I mean high quality sleep. All right. There's three main things that go into high quality go into high qual high quality sleep one your room is pitch black all right pitch black buy blackout curtains if you have curtains where it hits like 6 a.m and lights coming into your room buy curtains that block out all light if you don't want to buy curtains buy big thick big thick gar big thick garbage bags and duct tape 
your windows black, completely black. But believe me, I've slept in all different types of in all different types of environments. I'm a different human being when I sleep in a place that's pitch black. Just try it. Um, like pitch black, no light coming in, un, no light coming in underneath the door, pitch black. All right. Also, go pitch black and then also get an eye, also get an eye mask if you want. Um, two is when to have sleep really, really good to hear no external like car noise people talking so buy earbuds uh ear plugs if you want i would highly suggest that if there is car if there's car noise like loud car noises and stuff like that i would highly su i would highly suggest that and also your room to be a bit cool bit a bit cold if you have all of these three in place you are going to wake up after after an eight an eight hour sleep and just be fucking ecstatic. You're like, oh my god, this is the best I felt in years because that sleep, like, most likely your sleep sucks if you sleep when there's a bit of light, a bit of noise. Most likely your sleep sucks. Um, what's even more important is when you go to bed, you you're not scrolling. All right, this is huge. I'm not even going to count this as one of the as one of the as one of the habits but one thing i get all my clients to do is one hour before bed no phone no electronics no scrolling because if you scroll the last thing before bed your your mental reference points of what you're going to be thinking about when you're trying to sleep is garbage it's so not only is your dope i mean through the roof and your soul your brain is so fucking uh, so fucking awake but also what thoughts you're going to be thinking are so trash they're so terrible that when you wake when you wake up in the morning guess what you're still going to be thinking bullshit absolute garbage that you see on social media so what's huge is if the last hour before bed you take time just for yourself you write you 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 journal and you read actual good shit like on books biographies if you want so that when you wake up you're like oh fuck yeah you feel really good life hack all right huge 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 your sleep is fucking massive all right that's the first thing the second thing is exercise if you do not train like th at least three times uh at least three times a week where you push yourself to a brink of I, this is i i don't want to do this i can't do one more rep i'm dead i'm exhausted i can't do it if you don't push yourself to that brink where you test yourself you test yourself physically and mentally in a exercise way you are going like it just helps your speech out so much it helps your con it helps your confidence out so much it helps you be able to handle tension and stresses in your life with ease um, cold sh cold showers cold baths are also great for that also also breath work is great for that but exercise like just get fucking exercising get that heart rate up activate your sympathetic nervous system your sympathetic sympathetic nervous system which is <laughs> the go nervous system and then calm yourself down breathe meditate stillness and you'll just see if you can exercise to a fucking high intensity where you push yourself, it's gonna help your speech and your confidence and your mindset so much. The third thing that I'm gonna share with you out of the out of the seven, the third and last thing I'm gonna share with you is food. Food and nutri food and nutrition. If you would see my cupboard in there. 
I have seven. I have seven different seven different supplements I take every day, and I'm a completely different person when I don't take them. My ability to have like, and my ability to have energy is just dropped. I feel when I don't have these, it's just like I don't have this energy. I I don't have this desire to get up and fuck shit up. And so much of your stutter is fluctuated by your energy levels. So fucking much. And if you're constantly feeling constantly feeling lethargic, you're not going to be interested in other people. And when you're not interested in other people, you're not going to want to talk to them. And when you don't want to talk to people, you can't improve your confidence in your stutter because you're like in your head, you're like, I don't even want to talk to this person. It's going to be fake. I'm going to have service level conversation. I don't even want to have. So you're fake and you're in the, in, you're fake and you're in the interaction. And whenever you're inauthentic and you're speaking, you're going to stutter more. So it's this, it's this cycle where you can't get it out of because you're, because your energy levels are so low. But once you have high fucking energy levels, you wake up and you're like, let's fuck today up. And you're excited because you had that good night's sleep, like good night's sleep. You are pushing yourself physically and mentally with exercise and you have the right nutrients that are making your body feel really fucking good. This is that, this is that foundation. Now, when you push yourself, now when you leave your comfort zone, now when you face these fears, you're constantly just gonna be growing, 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 growing. You're not gonna be falling be because of your energy levels being sucked down. All right, huge shit. I told you it's boring, but you must know this, all right? And um, yeah, there is seven different daily habits that I get my clients to do, but these three, are huge, 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 huge for you. And if you want to see if we would be good fit to work together, look at my Instagram, um, shoot me a message with the word stutter, shoot me the message with the word stutter, S T U T T E R. And I'll give you some de I'll give you some details of what working together will look like. All right. Or you can, um, comment down below with the word stutter. You can also do that. Um, and I'll reach out to you there. And yeah, if you don't have it, if you don't have Instagram, then you can comment down below, and we'll find it. We'll find a different way to work shit out. All right, I love you.